everyone so it's already in the evening and I didn't put on the lightning setup so it's just the windows light and a little bit of room light here but I wanted to show you my hair it's day two after my wash and go set and this is how it's looking like yesterday I was not able to film but I have some clips from my phone and some stories that I posted on Instagram so you can see it somewhere here and yeah now you see my hair with a better quality and yes if someone tells you 4C wash and goes are nuts just tell them Maybe you have to practice on how to do your hair actually. And you of course have to know what products to use because yes, I am really pleased with my hair. Of course, I have a lot of shrinkage but this is the nature of type 4B, type 4C hair the curl size is very very tiny and the coiling is also very 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 tiny and sharp and this is why we have this high shrinkage actually it isn't easy to focus when it's so dark but I hope you can see what I mean and I'm really pleased Yeah, good night and see you tomorrow on Monday. Hi everyone, so this is day three hair. Today is Monday and yeah, I washed my hair on Friday as you know. And this is my wash and go with Buclam products. So it's still looking well defined. I stretched it out for scrunchies and hairbands and this is why I have this irregular <laughs> shape but still I don't mind because I know it will shrink back up this morning actually it rained and now the, uh, the outside is sunny but who knows in a couple of hours it will rain again. I'm at home so it won't shrink up but maybe tomorrow when I go out it will shrink back up but for now I'm just enjoying my hair I love the movement let me come closer for you and yeah this is my hair and see you tomorrow can I can't wait to show you how my hair will look like in day four hi everyone so this is how my hair is looking like today I still have a definition and I could fluff it out if I want but I'm actually keeping my style like this because why not and outside right now it's pouring rain Body, I have movement if I want but I'm actually going to put it back into the scrunchies
everyone so here's another update of my hair today I had a cappy on it wasn't sunny but I wanted to feel on vacation actually yeah this is how it's looking like you can see I can still fluff it <laughs> I wasn't sure if I'm going to sing or if I'm going to talk but yeah this is basically it my hair was kept stretched with scrunchies where are my scrunchies let me find them for you so here they are one on this side and one on this side and that's it again my hair is stretched and usually it doesn't show as much length as it shows now but it's because it's it's because right now it's not that humid it has not rained today and the air is kind of dry and maybe you wonder why the front of my hair is always longer than the back of my hair first of all i have natural layers but i try to cut the nape area off once my hair grows out kind of to even out my hair but i don't do a lot in the back i trim my hair myself because yeah i have no access to any hairstyles that are experienced in cutting this kind of hair and i live in german land so i don't have the privilege of living in france uk or can canada or america yes i don't have this privilege so i'm going to do my hair until i can fly with ease to these countries and just spend $500 to do my hair but right now I can't yes so here are my natural layers and I've also to say I don't know if I have already mentioned it but the front of my hair is kind of more loose that's why I say maybe this is what you call 4B hair the curls and waves are much more looser not significantly not very not a lot but you kind of see a slight difference because yeah it's actually showing almost its true length while it's clumped right now i'm pulling my hair and there's not much there's not a lot to pull out but still it's clumped and looking kind of wavy but the back where or this the back where I have the tightest coiled I can stretch it out much more yeah but it will shrink back up Pew! this is what my hair does and even my very nape area actually that is the loosest it has it kind of has a lot of shrinkage actually so i hope you can see it's a very different hair pattern than my coils over here look at the wavy structure and look at the nape actually this is a bigger curl than this one above but yeah this is my hair today is wednesday and i feel confident i feel so confident that i can make it to friday because i promise i will show you a day <laughs> Because I promised you that I will show you a week in my 
for C wash and ghost and yes this is how it's looking like bam 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 boop 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 all right see you tomorrow so this is the next day and this is how my hair is looking like and I put a hair bow inside my hair actually it's from my favorite brand accessorized it has very small beads and I really enjoy wearing it but yeah you can see my roots are more fluffier now but my ends are still defined it was or it is today is a bit more humid but it hasn't rained a lot so this is uh, so that, that's why my hair has not frizzed up that bad i was already out today i was in town but my hair looked nice and i'm not i'm not sure if you can see the movement is my hair still flowing around when i shake it I hope it is and if it's not I it, and if it's not it's also okay but yeah so it's kind of turning into a curly fro right now but still it is much more defined than just the curly fro right now but also the gel cast is also removing itself from my hair strands it leaves a kind of white flakes on my hair but it's not really noticeable and it's fine so this is my back yeah and that's it tomorrow will be actually wash day but let me come back tomorrow just to show you another day of my hair and I could even leave my hair like this for two weeks if I wanted to because my hair it, it feels good you, you can see it <laughs> you can see it you cannot feel my hair right now but you can see I, my hands are just gliding down it feels soft it doesn't feel dry and it still bounces back so hydration hello shrinkage it's still there and yeah but I know I have many shed hairs inside my hair but they just don't loosen up they are inside my hair strands, inside the clumped hair strands and they need to be washed out, they need to be detangled out with the fingers and also with a detangling brush. So what are my plans tomorrow? I actually wanted to try out the brand Amica or is it Amica? I think it's called Amika. I just pronounce it. I just pronounce it the German way, Amika or Amika. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I didn't order it. Maybe I will order it tonight. Some of their products, but they will actually come next week. So maybe I will just shampoo my hair tomorrow, and then I will do a henna session. Right now, you cannot see color anymore it's been many weeks since my last henna application when did i henna my hair i think in april so it's been two months actually and yeah you cannot really see very copper red tones inside the in the sun right now we will go back to it because I can see 
many of you are liking my henna video yes I filmed the henna video in November and soon I kind of have a feeling it will hit 10k views which is amazing I really love it I also did some critical talk and I think you really enjoyed it because you know we have to share those seeds yes we have to share it no ha hairstylist will push me from my seat and say don't influence people here because YouTube University is bad and you cannot graduate with A+. plus. <laughs> you cannot graduate with A+, plus from YouTube University. No, there are good teachers and there are bad teachers. There are good professors and there are bad professors. There are good hairstylists and there are bad hairstylists. And the range of influencers is very broad. Yes. So don't just say, don't, so don't just blame everything on YouTube University. I will be approaching this in one of my next videos because I'm kind of tired. But let's see. I think I will henna my hair. And you will see it plump like no one's business because henna is no bad and it can clump tightly coiled hair so I don't know where people are getting this information from that henna damages hair and henna will restrain type 4c curls from clumping what I am not sure about this because this hair was hennaed or is has been hennaed for more than 12 years so it went through everything it went to texturizers it went to relaxers it went to the maximum hydration method it went to straighteners it went to everything and here I am 2022 and I still henna my hair you just have to know how to do it yes so see you tomorrow bye it's friday the final wash and reset day as you can see i have already washed my hair so i shampooed my hair this morning it's dry right now i did not use any kind of conditioner just a good hydrating shampoo hi my son and I are having a wash day and I wanted to show you the final day the Friday so that you can see a total of seven days because usually I wash my hair between three to five days the winter months I opted to every five days and in Usually warmer months, I wash my hair twice a week, so that would be somewhere between every two to four days or five days. It depends on how much I sweat and everything, so I have to watch him not to wet all the floor here. But here I am, I want to do a henna session. I want to do a henna session and of course I will film it. But now I'm making sure that my hair is cleansed good enough. I will just finger detangle my hair. So what kind of shampoo do I have inside my hair right now? It's this one. It's the Rawa Hydrating Shampoo. And it also has, I believe it has clay inside. Let me check. I think either this shampoo, but no, I think it's the conditioner actually this one that has clay inside but yeah i will just shampoo my hair do a good finger detangling and that's it and that's why i tell you no matter what you use even if you do your uh, your do it yourself even if you do your do it yourself your hair should be nine your hair should be in a good hydration mood and what does it mean for my hair for my 4c hair actually you can see all these small 
hair strands that are trying to clump with just shampoo in it and it means yes and this is what it means actually it means that your hair is able to clump all right so my hair is clean my scalp is clean this is how my hair usually looks like when i come out of the shower usually and normally i would use the conditioner and detangling brush to detangle my hair and then i will go to style it but i want to henna my hair because i've been doing this for many many years and in order for henna to work really good inside the hair it needs a clean hair still face so this is why i like to have my hair clean and this is how my hair usually looks like when it's not clumped it has some sheen it's nice and stretched out from the twists and yeah this is kind of my hair and sometimes you can see some natural clumps in there are a few of them inside my hair I hope you liked this video and you saw how easy it is when you do a wash and go so it was a week in my wash and go and I hope you got inspired to try out new hair care habits, try out new things inside for your hair to make your life easier. And now I'm going back into the kitchen. I'm going to cook rice with fish and vegetables and little egg noodles. So I'm going to present it to you just right now oh no this is my phone i have to get inside the kitchen see you bye